This is Andy Purawa for Boxing Social in association with Betfred and delighted to be joined by Mikhail Lawal here at the Boxer Show uh, in London. Mikhail, first and foremost, congratulations. Back with a victory. How did you feel to be back in the ring? Yeah, it was nice, man. I was a bit rusty. Um, tried to get the rounds in and like, do what I to, had to do and you know, try to take him out in the later rounds, but it was a bit too late. But I did what I had to do, man. I got the win, so that's, that's what it's about, isn't it? So. How would you assess your performance? Um, earlier in the week, you said to me you wasn't really looking for that stuff. You just wanted to get the ring rust off. Yeah. Did you feel it in there? Yeah, I did. I definitely felt it, man. I've been out of the ring for a year and a half almost, basically. And um, yeah, so doing what I had to do, um, boxing, getting that rust off. So yeah, it was nice. It was nice. How would you assess your performance on an individual basis? Um, I could have done a lot better. There's certain things I wanted to do. Um, he wasn't really trying to get involved as I thought he would. Yeah, obviously, uh, we sparred a lot in the past, so I, he's kind of used to my style. So he, he, he kind of knew what I'd throw, that kind of thing. I was trying to change it up a bit as well. But, uh, he, you know, he, he survived and, that, and he did what he did best. And yeah, he got, you know, but at least I got the win. I boxed and that's what it's about. Just a few people over social media think that it was a little bit closer than 60-54. Did you feel it was comfortable enough to be a 60-54? or? A hundred percent. I definitely believe it was... Well, you know that that was that was good, but um, I don't know what else man, what other people saw. But I did what I had to do. He barely touched me. I got no scratches on my face, you know. So I did what I had to do, man. I got the win. You mentioned obviously you've you've shared the ring previously in sparring. Is it difficult to kind of prepare for somebody who you know that you you know what they're going to bring yeah. and they know what you're going to bring? Yeah, it is, man. A lot of people don't need to understand that too. And obviously, plus being out of the ring, as I said before, it's not easy, man. And obviously staying in, the, staying in the hotel, having to be in a bubble, um, just being in the room locked, out, um, locked up, it kind of plays with your mind a little bit. But it's one, of the, it's one of those things I've adapted to it and I've tried to still put on a good performance. But your attentions can now turn to the future. And what are you looking at in terms of your next fight? So, yeah, I'm trying to fight for the eliminate for the British title. Luke Watkins, is, he's there. And I'm trying to get the fight made with him. Hopefully we can get that made and we can fight. Do you believe that fight will go ahead with Luke? Hundred percent, man. He's a he's a, he's a tough guy. He's a, he's he's he said he wanted it, he wanted it as well, man. It's not just me. So yeah, I'm trying to get the fight. And then we, hopefully we get in, we get in there. We do, we do what we need to do. I've got big respect for him as well. So it's going to be one of those things that hopefully the fight gets made. Mikel, final thing from myself before I leave you to enjoy your journey home and I imagine you'll be um, letting, letting some steam off, maybe having takeaway and what have you. Um, boxing behind closed doors, how did you find the experience? Yeah, it was different, man. It was actually, yeah, part of me was just, you know, I almost felt like sparring at one at certain points when I asked about, you know, this is actually a fight, I need, to wait, I need to wake up kind of thing. Yeah, so you can kind of switch off a little bit sometimes. So I had to really try to make sure I wake, I wake up, you know, because when the crowd's there and they're all screaming, it kind of hypes you up and makes you want to go for it a bit more. But you know what it is, man, I did what I had to do and I adapted to the situation, so I'm happy with it. And just a word for everybody back home who would have tuned in to watch your performance tonight, what would you like to say to them? Yeah, man, thank you for tuning in, man. I appreciate the help, love and support, and that's it, man. Okay, it's been a pleasure to catch up with you. I'll keep in touch and catch up with you again soon. Thank you for speaking to Boxing Social. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. <laughs>